Today I'm going to show you something I think is super cool. I promise this is not a clickbait. I love what this is doing. And this is Animate Anyone. You can take one picture, only one, and make it dance. Well, it doesn't have to dance. You can do whatever. It can animate anyone with consistency. Let me show you how it, it's done. We're going to do a tutorial and we're going to do it locally. I'm going to show you how to install it locally with Comfy. You can do it uh, in a cloud solution like Think Diffusion. I'm also going to show you how you can demo it on a hugging face where you can just try a simple demo for yourself if you want to. Let's get started. Oh, and by the way, do you know how to get the tissue to dance? Put a little boogie in it. Hey, uh... I'm just quickly going to show you the hugging face space here. So this is just a demo. This is going to be a super easy one. Basically here you drop in your, um, your animation. Then you're just going to drop in a random image here. Set this to 512 by 768 and animate this. As this is a free space, I mean, it, it can take a while. I'm going to link this below. So not going to dig too much into this. Now I'm going to show you how to get it installed locally on your computer. And we're going to do that with Comfy because that's what's available and running best at the moment. Here's the one second we got from here. If you're going to change that and get it longer. You see the video length here. So that's going to be set in frames. So 24 frames, one second. So we're going to be using this node, Comfy UI Animate Anyone Evolve. And you can find it through the manager. You can also find it through Git here if you want to clone it. Uh, we're going to use the manager. They have uh, an example here which has uh, Chun Li and the input image and the little character walk in here. And these are going to be available when you download Animate Anyone Evolve. So you have something to get started with and then you can start making your own ones. There's also going to be a example workflow. And I'm also going to give you this advanced workflow if you are a Patreon supporter. You don't need to support to be able to use Animate Anyone, uh, but I built this to have some extra features like a face detailer. And uh, well, let me show you as soon as we get this all installed. You can either use the workflow from my Patreon, which is going to be the one you see in the background now. You can also go in your Comfy folder, Custom Nodes, Animate Anyone, and here you're going to have an example workflow, which is this more Animate Anyone. When you load, I'm, I'm using a clean Comfy install now, so I don't have anything installed except for the manager. So we're going to go all the way and get everything installed for you. So. You head into the manager. Let me get this up here. So you head into the manager, install missing custom nodes. And you might notice here now that there is no animate anyone here. So we're just going to install all of this. And this might look different to you depending on which workflow you have. So this is the workflow I supplied in my Patreon. So there are some extra nodes like animate diff, for example, that's mainly for the face detailer. So you might have less here. Uh, then we're just going to install one more thing before we restart. And we're going to go into custom nodes here. And we're going to find and we're going to type anyone and then we're going to find animate anyone evolve. There's two to choose from. We want this one, the Mr. For example one. And we're clicking that and we're just clicking install here. Now we got that installed. So we're just going to press restart here and then we're going to make sure to download some of the models because now that we get back into this, there are going to be some things missing still and that uh, that is a lot of the models. Like I said, this is a clean version, so I have nothing. So you should be able to follow along this tutorial and make similar adjustments on your machine. If you don't know how to install Comfy at all, and um, just check my previous how to use and install Comfy UI. You can just, you know, YouTube search that. All right, so we have restarted and we can see there are no red nodes here. So we're going to get started and installing some of the models. We're going to head back into the GitHub here. I'm going to scroll down all the way to the bottom. And here you have the models that you want to download. I'm going to go into the first link here. Take the Diffusion PyTorch model bin here. Download that. Go into your Comfy UI, Custom Nodes, Animate Anyone Evolved, Pre-Train Weights, Stable Diffusion, Unit. Drop that one in there. And you can see from this guide here, I'm going to put this in the comments as well, or actually not in the comments, but in the description that where all the models are going to be placed. So the diffusion PyTorch model the pin here is supposed to be in the unit folder. Then we're going to go into the second link here and we're going to download all of these one by one here. I'm going to put them in. If you go one step back, uh, we're still in a custom node. So let me go from the start here. You're in Comfy UI, custom nodes, animate anyone evolved, pre-train weights, drop that in there and the same for the other. Three. So we're going to have four files in total. 
that are going to go in the pre-trained weights of the custom node animate that anyone evolved. Then you're going to find this link. So this is the third link where they're that we're clicking, we're downloading this and we're going to Comfy UI, Models, Clip Vision. I'm just going to rename this so I know what it is. Now it says PyTorch model or underscore model. I'm going to rename it to SD Image Variations Diffusers. This is not necessary, but since that is what it is, uh, that I'm going to more easily be able to remember what that is. So we went to three links and we're going to get go to this the last link here we're going to find this VAE and we're going to download the safe tensor here and again go into your comfy folder go into models and this is a VAE and I'm just going to rename this SD-VAE-FT-MSE and that's from the name up here if everything was named diffusion PyTorch model you would have no idea what it was now we have downloaded everything from these links. If you are using my custom workflow from Patreon, you're also going to need to download an animate diff model. So I'm going to link that in the description below. We're going to head into animate diff on hugging face and we're going to download, download V3 SD 15 mm. We're going to put that inside your comfy UI custom nodes, animate diff evolved. Again, this is only necessary for my workflow for the original animate anyone. This is not required. We're also going to download the epic realism in painting model, which is this one pure evolution here. So we're downloading that that goes into your comfy models, checkpoints, and just drop that straight in there. Once you get everything installed, you can either use the workflow from my Patreon, which is going to be the one you see in the background now. You can also go in your comfy folder, custom nodes, animate anyone. And here you're going to have an example workflow, which is this more animate anyone. And you're also going to have a test input here. You can use this for both workflows. This is uh, of a character dance walking like this, an image of Chun Li. Remember to use 512 by 768. It's going to give you the best results. and now let's look at what this is. So first, let me talk about this workflow. So the main part, which is this, let me move this away a little bit. So the main part is these nodes. And these are the nodes that came from animate anyone. Then we have these nodes that I put in from a face dealer workflow so that that's going to help us with the face. And then we have a separate step up here that I'm going to talk to you in a bit because what you need is an input that looks like this right and it's not like you can find a lot of inputs that look like this you have the example that you get with the node uh, but you might want to do like different ones so what I did in my workflow you can find on patreon is this here if you select these and just press Control B which is the same as bypass here, you're going to activate them again. And here I have a load video node. So I'm loading a video and then I have a DV post estimator. So it's basically an open post and this will run and get you basically an output that looks like this. Now you could connect this to the full workflow, but that's just going to take a lot of extra time each time you want to make a generation. So input the video you want, get this result, put that in here in the load video node. Uh, when you first start out, check the frame load cap here. You might want to set this to a low number, 12 for example. This, this is the amount of frames that you're going to load maximum. You can test your settings before you render out the full generation. Then you're going to load your image. Let's say, for example, that we take this image here. So what I did, I actually took the first frame of this one. I put it into automatic 1111, put control net on it and just rendered images in the same frame. And those are the same ones that you can see from uh, the intro of this video. Width and height here, 512 by 768. That's going to be what this model has been trained on. So that's going to give you the best results. So make sure to stick with that. And that is basically it. Now we're going to press Q prompt here. We might get some errors. If we do, let's look at those together and see what we need to do. If you don't want to run the face detailer, you can bypass this node and right click, press bypass, control or command B. We're going to leave that in for now because we're just running 12 frames. When you've used this, Remember to disable it again, control B, and we're going to run this main workflow now. We're pressing Q prompt here and it's loading the models so far. So good. If you are getting a red error somewhere, 
let's say you get this for example just click the little box make sure that you reselect the model and that might be the case for some of these nodes but if you follow the steps most of this should be fine you can see the progress bar here green it was very quick so this is the result this is 12 frames and it's just a, a quick animation here so it has barely had time to start but you can see it works and then you can go back and improve the frames now this actually keeps working so you can see the purple node here actually it does the face detailer so you get a second one here where it tries to improve the face and if you want to change the settings for the face you have that in the little node here so you have the denoising strength here now it's at 0.45 increase that if you want more changes decrease if you want less changes this is also going to be the checkpoint for the face detailer so this is the in painting model that we loaded and this is going to be the prompt now we actually had man face so this should in this case be woman face and if you want any specific negative prompts if you're getting a red error on this node make sure that you actually press this and select your animative model and that's basically it because this workflow kind of does its own magic so now you see that it works you can increase the frames here so let's do 100 frames here we can queue this up and it's just going to keep running and you will be again able to see the progress got bar in this animate anyone sampler and this little green bar that should pop up any second is going to show us the progress of our animate anyone so this is super powerful and you can see how well it keeps its consistency let me check back once this 100 frame animation has finished and let's talk a little bit more about it all right so this has finished and i have a brand new uh, double espresso here so life is pretty good and as you can see from the 100 frames here we have uh, the girl dancing and there's some jitter going around in the background uh, you're gonna have to run a few generations to get rid of that some images are better than others you can also try a different seed here's the seed so just change that if you want to play around with it uh, but what we're going to talk about here is basically the consistency so if you look at our input image which is this one here you can see that we have some sort of fake text here you can't really see what it is but you can see you know what it looks like and basically the shoes and the, the general you know what the clothes look like so if you look at the consistency here on the character you can actually see it stays consistent so this logo here or the text on the, the sweater is actually still there and it's uh, adapting to the changes now there are some uh, jerkiness going around especially there's some frames with the shoes here but again if you run this a couple of generations you're gonna get some much better results i've got a few that just look pretty much flawless and this is new tech so i'm sure this can be adapted and improved you know with some either improvements to the the tech itself or you know if you build some kind of cool workflow to get around this maybe there can be some adaptations you know with the ip adapter i have no idea if you have any cool ideas put them in the comments below and i hope you learned something this was how to use animate anyone and it's well it's freaking amazing i kind of like it like i told you not a clickbait i love this as always have a good one see ya